Alrighty, what's up folks? Jordan here with a new game called Inner Space. So what's up Do uh, Joseph and Darion? Thanks for joining me. I'm just gonna check on a few technical things here. Alrighty, what's up folks? Oops. I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> Hate listening to my own voice. It sucks. All right. Okay, so real quick about inner space. Um, from what I understand, this is a exploration type of game. Which is different for me because I don't particular, particularly play that those types of games. I mean, I do. Like, I like Minecraft, the creative mode, but then I have an urge to play the survival mode. But then I die and get pissed off. But anyway, so Inner Space is a, an exploration, exploration type of game. And from what I understand, it takes place in a world where physics are opposite of what they are in real life so like gravity goes in the opposite direction um like water pulls outward away from the planets instead of toward the planet's center so um yeah anyway i think we're ready to go get start or to get started here i don't know why the chat is not coming up on my ipad today uh, whatever. I still have it on the computer. All right. Oh, yeah, and I'm waiting for a pizza to get here that's kind of late. <coughs> hint, hint, Papa John's. Y'all need to work on that. I was hoping it'll get here before I start the game. Let's see, start a new adventure. Uh, yeah. I think this is an example of what they're talking about, the gravity. It's moving toward the outer parts of the circle. Wind created the inverse and keeps its worlds intact. The ancients built great networks to harness the energy called wind. The ancients prospered, but this would not last. Demigods arose and drained the inverse. The world ended. It is said the ancients tried to escape the inverse, but failed in their last hour. So who are the ancients? Now the world and its secrets await. And what's up, Craig? Thanks for joining me. Press A to launch. Uh, yeah. Good luck, Archeo. Archaeologist. <laughs> Booting up. Begin flight calibration sequence. All right, so Craig, just in case you didn't catch my earlier blurb about this game, it's um, a new game for me. Uh, this actually just came out maybe like a week or so ago. I was hoping the developer would have given it to me a little earlier, but that's okay. Um, this is a free world type of exploration game. Hitch up. Pitch settings recorded. Okay, roll left. Or no, that was right. That's left, okay. Y'all left. 
No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all. Left and then y'all, right? Throttle. Hold ZL to drift. Keep the orb centered on the screen. Um, okay. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Fly into the rock. Okay. I think I kind of did it. Um, where the hell? Okay, there's the rock. Okay. All right, let me get used to these controls here. Wait, why am I moving past the, the damn rock? There we go. Okay, I think I did it right. All right. This game is definitely different. Okay. What other systems is this game on? Well, on the top of my head, I don't know. Um, oh, I need to break the breakable looking rocks. The controls seem to be, I don't know, it's kind of weird getting used to the controls. Okay. Okay. Uh, tap ZR to enter dive mode. Okay. Exit the water. Yep, and I think that would be my pizza at the door. So if you folks can hang on just a second, let me go get that pizza. All right, sorry about that, folks. I was hoping my pizza would have gotten here before I started the game. But anyway, um, this is the pause menu, right? Um, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I have no idea what, what was going on with that menu. Okay. Hello. Is anybody there? Or in there? The unit shows no reaction to external stimuli despite having components for language comprehension. I'll try again. Cartographer, can you hear me? Hello, hello, you can, you can respond. You're working. Greetings, fellow life form. I am the archaeologist and, uh, oh my, now that you've been activated, I don't quite know where to begin. Um, yeah, why am I here? Yeah, 
Let's get to work. Let's test those wings and collect our, what did it say, our orbs. For now, you should stick to the air. Your current airframe doesn't have the ability to deal with water quite yet. Okay. I have no idea what I'm really looking at right now. Press, exit the pillar by pressing ZL. Collect relics by flying near them, okay. Um, okay. Um, is this a dead end? It looks like it. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. All right. Let's find some relics. Um, is it... Okay, we got a relic. Uh, what is this telling me? Pick up. What is this? Plug in. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, return to the pillar to speak with the archaeologist. Okay. Um, how do I accelerate? I thought the throttle was up on the stick there. Oh, okay. Zio. Okay, there we go. Nice job. Send me the relic so I can analyze it. Okay. Why don't you take this chance to practice your flying some more? See you soon. All right, so we press ZL to, oh wait, what is this? These menus confuse me. Okay, that's back, that is to talk, so we wanna go back. All right, so, um, this, so yeah, this is a, the world we're exploring, I think. So from what I understand, Gravity works the opposite direction. So you see how water sticks to the outsides? Upgrade available, return to the archeologist to receive it, okay. So the controls are not so bad. It took a while for me to get used to them. What's that do now? Well, that makes me go faster, okay. Makes me turn, okay. All right, so let's go back to the archeologist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't like when I have to do too much reading. All right, so I think we want to head through here. Said this was the way to the inverse, which I believe is the universe like the well you know like the op opposite of our universe I would suppose okay 
Let's see another one of these things. Wow, nice landing. While you're here, is there anything you'd like to know more about? Mmm, not really. And what's up, Jose? Oh wait, this isn't the way I came, is it? I hope not. <laughs> Yeah, this looks a little deeper than before. Um, I think. Um, oh, that was not a smooth turn. Let's go here. Well, here we are, the mouth of the cave. Just fly on through that tunnel. Oh, now this is a problem, the tunnel's blocked. See those ropes? You think you can cut them like with your wings? You should be able to cut them with your wings. You're a rugged looking creature, I dare say. If you're running, running low on space, try drifting. Oh yeah, I need to do that. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, we cut two. Um, wait, what's my drift button again? Okay, we got and cut. Oh, geez. Why do I feel like the button he told me to drift with is not drifting? <laughs> okay. All right, where is the... Sphere I need to go back to. It's in the center and I can't get to it. Okay, um... Okay, there we go. Alright. Fantastic work. <laughs> I guess you can say that. This is the inverse. Dawn Vessel. Alrighty, so um, let's see what we can accomplish here. There's a circle. Let's see what happens if I fly through it. Hmm. 
Okay, so where are those rooms? There they are. Okay, I have no idea what I just unlocked there. Um, passageway. Oh, is that a relic? Relic, relic chunks. Oh, what's going on? Something breakable. Break, damn it, whatever you are. Oh. Perches allow you to rotate before launching. Oh, okay. Uh, where do I want to launch? That way, maybe? Down there? There's a relic. Get that. Thank you. There's a breakable pathway. Oh, there's something. Whatever those are. I'll take it. Well, this helps get a hang of the flying uh, controls. Oh, and it leads me to one of these. So, Jose's like, how am I liking this, this game so far? Um, it is very different from any game that I play recently, um, or any game that I normally play. Let's see direction should I go um, this is an open-world type of exploration game I need to talk to the archaeologist again um, and this is something that I don't ever really play so I mean as far as do I like it it's not terrible so far um, it's actually pretty good as far, as far as controls i mean at least uh the tight turning i still have to figure that out but that's not something to blame on the game itself um oh this is just a perch hmm okay one of the archaeologists where can i find them i mean so far the game is beautiful I kind of don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I have a feeling that that's the that's what they want. Is this another perch? Huh, okay, let's see. I gotta find one of the archaeologists. I'm not sure where they are. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep exploring until I find something. <laughs> Um, it's a, it's a gaming concept that I don't ever play around with, um, just aimlessly playing things. I don't ever do that kind of thing. So this does feel weird and it is relaxing, Craig. It's an, oh, um, what is this? What remained? Um, I'm pressing ZL. I don't know, is this one of the archaeologists? Hard to tell what's what. <laughs> um, I can deliver something. Okay, well, let's try it.
Oh, okay, did I upgrade my my craft? I think I did upgrade my craft. Nice. Um, I think that's all. Let's make sure there's nothing I need to talk about. So it looks like I need to um, go back. Okay, so where is that pool of water it was just showing me? Is it over here? Okay, so over here it said in here there's some kind of unlocking mechanism. Exit the pillar by. This is kind of weird. I feel like I'm not controlling the aircraft. Um, press ZR to transform. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I got it. Jose says when he looks at this, he feels like he's sailing on Wind Waker. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get those. Whatever they are. <laughs> I have no idea where the fuck I am. Oh, there's a path. Uh, so what is that? So the comforting thing about this game is I don't feel like I've run into anything that can harm me yet. Is this? What the hell? Mash buttons to escape. Oh, oh, I see. It's some kind of creature that I was in. I have no idea what the heck's going on right now. <laughs> Am I controlling it? Oh, I'm over here. Okay. Alright, anyway. Oh, that looked like... 
like something valuable or useful. It looks like I'm, I can't, I, I, it doesn't seem like I can harm my craft that I'm in, which is good. I don't know what those blue things are. like a tunnel. <laughs> so what is this? Can I fly through this? change back to my flying form okay all right um, this looks like what it was pointing out earlier earlier is, is there anything useful over here oh nope <laughs> So that's the pool of water I went through earlier. Let's see what's over here. Cartographer, do you see that? The sun is moving. Did you somehow power it when you opened the cage? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, I have no idea what y'all talking about over here in the chat. See? <laughs> I mean, fortunately, I don't see a health bar nowhere, so. It seems like it doesn't really matter how much I damage this craft.
What is that? What is this? <laughs> Is this an angel? <laughs> so I thought I was underwater, but then I see more water. Oh, what is this? Is this one of those stocks? I think. Um, yeah, what is that? Assembly of light there. Okay. Oh, it's another one of those fish looking things. So, Craig, I hope I'm not ruining. So, uh, it says the stream cut off there for some random, or for for a second there. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why. Ooh, is that a relic? Okay, folks, um, sorry about that. I have no idea what's happening with OBS. It's, it keeps telling me that it's disconnecting. Um, I don't know if it's the internet or what the issue is with that. Um, it says it's back online now. So refresh the stream if you need to. Yeah, the internet appears to be fine. I have no idea what's going on. Um, all right, so anyway, like I was saying, Craig, I hope I'm not ruining the sound. Yeah, folks, I have no idea why it's doing that. Um, if it does that again, because the computer is telling me that it's going offline, but if it does that again, I will... Um, oh, here's another one of those things. I will change my internet connection over to a different connection. So, I don't think this is Earth. It's called the Inverse. So that 
I think that means like the opposite of the universe. I have no idea what this angelfish is that I'm flying with. Okay. Anyway, I think I went that way already, did I? Probably not. So, no, it's not always underwater. There's some, uh, when I first started playing the game, I was flying. Yeah, I'm actually in the water. I'm trying to see if there's something interesting in this water that I can interact with. But I don't think I can interact with this thing yet. think so. So, let me see if I can burst through here. And then... Uh, let me try that again. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm flying. I have no idea which way is right side up, if there even is a right side up. You know, I wonder why it still has that um, exit the pillar thing up there on the top right corner. Like, I know that I can exit pillars that way. Oh, I hit the button to sink back into the water. Ah, oh, okay. So now I'm getting to where I feel like the game's not responding when I press the ZL button. There we go. Jeez. So yeah, this is just an exploration game. I've never played No Man's Sky, so I can't really compare. Oh, oh, I think I've been here already. Yep. <laughs> I got fooled by that before. Oh, I can't go that way either. I have no idea where the fuck I am right now. I feel like I'm flying in a circle. Okay, so hopefully these will upgrade my abilities. I think.
<sighs> yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. Yeah, these don't do anything. Oopsie. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. It looks like this is supposed to be a pathway here. Or maybe I'm something I'm supposed to unlock later. There's no map anywhere, or at least I haven't seen one, so it's hard to know how big this place is that I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I kind of meant to do that. Um, didn't want to fly all the way through. Oh yeah, Darion, it's very imaginary at this point. <laughs> it is very, very imaginary. Like, you made up the whole thing. Which, you know, it's too bad that you had to do that. Alright, well, let me go back in here. Yeah, I'm still perplexed about, um... Up on the upper right corner, I wonder why that little notification hasn't disappeared. Exit the pillar by pressing ZL. Like, I'm definitely not on a pillar anymore. It's probably a bug. things do yet. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's another thing. The ZL button is not responding when I dive out of the water to try to turn back into my plane form. There we go. They responded then. Like I was tapping it, tapping it, it wasn't doing anything. All right, so I'm not sure what my next objective is, because um, I don't really see much that I can interact with right now. Um, there's in the water, there's out the water. <clears throat> in the water doesn't really seem to have a whole lot going on. Um, so I guess I'll fly around for a bit. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, this is not the same guy I've been talking to the whole time, is it? Okay, he says, I tried swimming near the demigod myself, but it was repelled. Perhaps you could just find an opening. So I need to find an opening. An opening. Um, I've been flying through all the openings I could find, but... Oh well, guess we'll just keep exploring. Up, oh, see, that looked like a passageway. Let's see, what do we have here? I think I flew over here already. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just finding the same stuff, it seems, but let's see, is this one of the archaeologists? No, it's just telling me something. Yeah, I really wish I could see where or find what you know where I'm supposed to go next. Uh, I've just been flying around the same areas for a while now. Okay, so here's an opening. Let's see if I've been down here already. Okay, where am I now? You know, these look like stacks of coins from Super Mario. Um, oh, is this an archaeologist? Okay, do whatever to click. Okay, I think I just went backwards. Yeah, it is, because I had to cut the ropes to... Ugh. Hmm, I wonder how it's so easy to find this little hole that, go that takes me backwards, but I can't exactly find the path to take forward in this game. Well, I guess that's just feedback for the developers if they bother to watch this. Um, I mean, as far as comments on this game, the game looks beautiful. The controls are... I'd say they're 95% good. I mean by video game standards, and I, I put it that way because there's a, it seems like there's a lot of games that I have control problems with, and this is one of those games where after playing with the controls for a while, it's really not that hard. When I was looking, when I was looking at the press material that the developers gave me, I was a little bit intimidated. Wait, have I been in here yet? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I still need to figure out the 
whole drifting thing. Oh. Okay. Gravity. Yeah, so the game looks great. The controls are great. Um, haven't had any display or any uh, graphical issues or anything like that. Um, as far as bugs, um, up on the top right of the screen there where it says exit the pillar, I believe that was supposed to be gone now. Let me see what the pause menu looks like. Recently gathered, airframes, relics settings main menu yeah and it's still remains there even when you unpause so that might be a slight bug if i i think because i don't see a reason why that has to perpetually uh stay on the screen but other than that um the game is beautiful i just um i mean it could it could be just me since i'm not really used to exploration games like this but i'm really puzzled as to what my next objective is right now um, I'm just kind of flying around looking for things to interact with, it seems. There's underwater, which I couldn't really find anything useful. Maybe I need to collect these. I'm not sure what these do yet. And I wish there was a way to stop or slow down. Wait. Yeah, I mean, there's that. I can do that to kind of slow down, but... I don't think there's a way to stop. So anyway, pressing ZR makes me dive toward gravity into the water. And I've already explored down here, but I'll give it another whirl. Actually, since I didn't collect these pieces at all before. The only thing interesting I see down here is this creature, or whatever the hell this is, but I don't know what to do to interact with it. Anyway, let's see what else we can find down here. Is that I have no idea what that does oh they're just little docking things so. oh oh okay I was supposed to activate them I think I think um, let's see See what happens if I fly into each one of them. Hmm. Kind of puzzled as to what these things do. Okay, because some of them. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Some of them disappear when you activate them. I feel like I just missed it. Um, okay, so activating these things is creating some blue orb inside of this creature. I think. I think 
that's what's happening. It's beautiful, whatever the hell that thing is, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do to interact with it. If I'm even supposed to interact with it right now. And these things... I'm not sure what they do exactly. Anyway... Alright, so I'll give it another little bit and see what else I can find here. So how is Breath of the Wild, Craig is asking. I love it. I actually have more footage I need to edit and upload. But it's pretty good. I mean, I don't like the whole thing with the breakable weapons. I'm, I'm definitely not used to that in any Zelda game. So it's kind of, it, it discourages me from taking on certain tasks in the game. Like, there was a dungeon I was going to enter, but then I thought to myself, you know what, I should probably have a good some weapons, and I had just used up all my weapons, or all my good weapons. Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to do down here with this thing. Because I can swim right through it, and it doesn't seem to do anything. Seems like I'm following it. And I want to believe that's just, this is the whole point of the game, maybe? You know, it's an exploration-based game, and... Why do these do that? Hmm. So, yeah, I want to believe, maybe, that this is, you know, since it is an exploration-based game, maybe... This is just meant for me to explore and not really interact with. But in any game, you want to you want to feel a sense of progress. And so far, I'm not feeling that here. So anyway, let me launch out of the water. And it, the game's doing that thing again where I'm pressing the uh, ZL button and it's not turning me into a plane. <laughs> Let me try it again. Where's the water or the surface? Yeah, why is it not? There we go. I had to crash to the wall in order to turn into a plane. Okay. All right. Anyway, folks, I think that that's going to be it for Inner Space. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, for, uh, you know, checking out this game. It's uh, been pretty awesome. Let me see if I can... What is that sound? Something new is definitely happening now. Yeah, what is that? Um, yeah, I have no idea what's making that noise now. Um, but anyway... Yeah, thanks for joining me for Inner Space, um, and thank you very much to the uh, developers of Inner Space for providing me with a copy so that I can review this game for you folks. I really appreciate that. I hear this sound. I have no idea where the hell it's coming from. Like, I'm not pressing any buttons. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, they sent me a guide uh, with the press package. Um, to, I guess, help me get through the game, but I didn't want to pull it out while I'm on stream because that, that doesn't seem kind of, kind of, um, smart. Um, so anyway, thank you folks. It's been awesome, uh, chatting with you folks. And, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Jackbox Party Pack at 8 o'clock, uh, Eastern Time. Uh, check out the schedule on, on the channel if, or the schedule video on the channel if you have not already. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. But other than that, you folks have a great night.